The Pretty Water Levee was constructed in 1970. It diverted Colorado River water into the man-made Cibola Cut to improve water delivery efficiency. In the mid-70s, after determining that the water passing through the levee was not adequate, the Bureau of Reclamation installed a three-foot diameter culvert pipe to restore the flow. This pipe quickly became blocked by silt. In the mid-80s, a secondary levee was constructed to contain local flooding. Large boulders were used to allow water to pass through this levee. However, now these boulders are completely silted in and all flow has stopped. Efforts by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services to restore endangered fish species confirm the problems caused downstream Attempts to correct these problems may be too little, too late. The situation at the community of Mitchell's Camp is typical of the problems that exist throughout this waterway. The channel of the mighty Colorado River has been reduced to a 30-foot wide drainage ditch. Formally, the marina was capable of accommodating over 60 boats. Now, the boat ramp and docking area are cramped, dangerous, and no longer meet federal specifications for this type of facility. Keep in mind, this is the same contaminated bacteria-laden water flowing through the town of Palo Verde. This is now the only source of water flowing past Mitchell's camp on its way south. Due to the extremely narrow channel width, it's necessary to define safety standards for navigable waterways such as channel width, depth, and turning radius. It may be difficult to imagine, but invasive reeds have overwhelmed this boat dock. The reeds, which extend from both sides of the channel and turn brown in winter, provide evidence of how narrow the river has been allowed to become. This is BLM's public campground at Walters Camp. Hosting over 10,000 annual visitors, the deteriorated condition of the river channel prevents access for these visitors to the 18-mile federal waterway to the north. Shown here is a typical home at Walters Camp in the winter. Just four short years ago, sandy beaches were visible across the channel. Due to increased silt accumulation, encroaching reeds are quickly taking over this waterway. The accumulated silt caused by lack of flow and virtually no maintenance provide fertile soil for aquatic weeds during summer months. These weeds become an entangling mass capable of drowning swimmers and wildlife. This shallow area is the result of a local sand wash. It annually deposits vast amounts of sediment and debris which now remain in place due to the zero flow condition. This is the confluence of the original river channel and the Cibola Cut south of Walters Camp. At the end of our journey, we find ourselves reconnecting back to the Colorado River. This ancient river continues to support life for all of the Southwest as it carves its way through rocky mountains and desert valleys. But for the people of Palo Verde, this once flourishing lagoon has been allowed to deteriorate. Man-made levees and artificial channels are responsible for the degradation of the community's most valuable resource.
The mission of the Clearwater Project is to restore and preserve this natural wonder. Men have created this problem. Now it's up to us to fix it. The Clearwater Project is in desperate need of your help. For information on how you can help, please visit www.clearwaterproject.us. Thank you.